dear, I've got no idea on the Cape Wrath Trail. Morning glampers were up and away. Left them two lads packing up. Um, shout out you two lads. They're hiking to Strathcarran. Was it Strathcarran? No. Kinlochwe. Somewhere like that. Anyway. Uh, morale. About, got to be about 6 out of 10 today I'm afraid. Because... Uh, <laughs> You know, like on computer games and stuff, when you have like, you, you, it's just got like a body like that and it's sort of like spinning around. And there's different colours on it, ranging from sort of like green through to yellow, amber, red. Red means painful. And it's all on the body like flashing bits. <clears throat> I've got quite a few amber flashing bits. Not quite red, I don't think. Well, maybe left ankle's red. But if I was going like that, I'd just be, <laughs> I'd just be all flashing amber with a with red ankle, I think. Not too bad, the feet. As far as blisters, it's not too bad. I'm just dealing with it. I can handle that sort of pain. It's only, there's different sorts of pain. And blisters, although extremely painful, they're not going to put a stop, they're not going to stop me because they're not, it's not... Uh, it's not it's not messing with my motor it's not messing with my movability <laughs> whereas my left uh, Achilles like the back of my left ankle on my Achilles is and my right knee are going a little bit and these are the things that went I've just got a, they're just reoccurring injuries that are coming out again I had my first proper look for ticks as well this morning and I found five so, all rummaging around my ankles and shins, which is mad because I've got I've got these little gaiters on and leggings. So I've took my leggings into my socks. Right, we've got our first river crossing of the day, early doors. So best crack on with that. This is what I'm talking about. Look, you'll get the angle of it from here. Look, see how it's. It's truly just, I mean, there's no need for that bit. Oh, well, there is actually, because it stops it falling through. So yeah, I have that bit as a f to stop it falling through, but pull it and then, listen, very quiet, lovely action, bang. Working together with gravity. Just... <sighs> well done. Well done. It's cheered me up that. a nice little area it makes a change from the plantations to see some different types of trees I'm just ambling my way into Strathcarran legs feel loads better today about my ankles this morning they were a bit like hurting but um, you get to a stage where you just hit a sweet spot where you can get some miles in and I got that I'm just coming into Strathcarran now, so I'm going to get myself a cuppa and see what food they have on offer. And I cannot wait. Look at these gunneras, I believe they are. Gunnera manakata, which is, uh, these are, well, they, they're, they're just growing now, but they grow humongous. Right, which way to go? I'll have to go because I'm thinking this bit is rough he's just pissed it down so i had to get all my rain clobber on but obviously as soon as rain goes it gets too hot so you've got to on and off with jackets but the up and down up road and i keep having to get into the side because there's no pass look people going past i'm vlogging while people are going past because i don't care <laughs> 
But yeah, it's uh, whew, up and down these roads, man. The cars appear seem to be going so quick because I don't see cars for for quite a few days. So <laughs> they just seem so fast and dangerous and loud. I'm like, Ugh. everyone should be riding around on deers. That's what I think. <sighs> right, at least it's downhill anyway. Just roll down it. Are you having that look? I'm actually over the moon about it. The Caron restaurant owned by a lovely couple actually, an old couple that do all their own cooking and baking. Gets a two thumbs up for me. Uh, a wonderful place to stop and a welcome surprise and a welcome treat. So. <laughs> if you're ever in the area mate, get yourself, get yourself booked into Caron restaurants. Look at everyone looking at me look. Everyone up there looking at me. <laughs> Who's this klutz from out of town? It's me, mate, sir. Like, share and subscribe me. I'm playing a game where I just smile innately to anyone, <laughs> any car or anything that's coming like that. I'm just doing it. Oh, I think I've gone delirious, mate, after my cake and coffee and that. Woohoo! And they come out going... <laughs> just do like a... <laughs> that like a full on ah oh, the most beaming smile I can get. Some people are beeping their horns. Some people yeah, let's do it to this lad in the, in this van watch it. Oh you can't see my face mate but Postman Pat he's seen it all before mate he didn't he didn't give a shit did he? Uh yeah some people are beeping some people just <laughs> they're just involuntarily smiling back. I'm going <laughs> and then they're going, ah. <laughs> Who's that puddled fella? Wait, get me an umbra, get me. Honestly, I'm gonna, I'm a, get me a propeller on top of that. That's what I'm one propeller away from here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, full on waves though, innit? A smile begets a smile. Oh, mint laugh, mate. Yeah, mint laugh. Just playing with cars on the road. Tell you what, walking on the road sucks big time. Get me back. I never thought I'd say this. But well, I didn't think I'd say this at five o'clock yesterday. But get me back up into them mountains, mate. Get me back into bogs. Get me back into slippery rocks and all that gear. Because I'll take it, it's rough and it's tough. But I'll take it over snivelization any day. Provided I have ample food and water. Optimism has gone. Keeps pissing it down. It's just dried out enough just now. But road walking and the cars now. There's no big smiles, it's just like that. Head down, trudging along. It's, I don't like it, mate. I don't like it, mate. That road section was not it. Oh, that was awful, mate. I'm, sh I'm done in, I'm done in. I'm gonna look for a place to camp here. Cause I I'm not going to push to um, Kinlock you because it's it's a real steep climb out of here, and I don't know if I'll you know if I'll get a flat pitch. So I'll look for somewhere around here to camp, and then we'll attack all that in the morning. There's just nowhere turning up, man. There's just a railway there, and that's steep as tits, and then everywhere's just fenced off or boggy on this uh, main road. Look at this, man. <laughs> look, is this a joke? Look. Huh. Iron brew. <laughs> Iron brew. <laughs> What's next? Oh, cock. Oh, Iron brew. <laughs> Come on, let's go brew spotting, shall we? Iron brew spotting. I oh, know, in fact, let's not. Can't be jenked. <laughs> this road is. Kicking my face off, mate. 
it's nasty. Right, sod it, I'm going off piste. I can't go for that road any longer, so. <sighs> on map it says this goes steadily up and then joins on with the to the track that I'm wanting to be on tomorrow. I do need some water as well. So I've just gone for it and I'll just hope that there's a relatively flat bit. It's not particularly windy, so it doesn't have to be the most stable pitch. Even though this is steep in that main road, because that was pants. Eee. It was hard, but in a different way. Soul sapping. Took hours. I'll get my water now for the evening and tomorrow morning. Oh, look at it, it's just deep enough in it to... I might have a wash in it, I think. Oh, yeah, that'll definitely need filtering, but... It's H2O. And it's good to go, mate. Ooh. Pop that there while I have a wesh. You don't need to see me having a wesh, do you? Proper wesh. <sighs> <laughs> Look at that, it's like going to the shop. It's just like going to the shop. It's nothing like going to the shop, is it really? But look at that. Two litres of the good stuff. I know it's trickled all the way down the side of this mountain and it's probably fine to drink, but the amount of dead deer I've seen on this trip, man. I think I'll, uh, I shall filter it. And I'm just drinking from the burns that are right up top. And appreciating it when I do, yeah. Show you this. So I came up here and I was like, oh, this turning must have somewhere flat. And there I am, look. Hallelujah. Oh, it couldn't have come at a better time. Um, I've, I've pushed my, um, my hiking poles up another five centimetres or so, just to raise it all a bit more because I'm sheltered here from any breeze or wind and it'll just help with condensation I've not been able to get the pegs into the ground as well as like so I've just chucked some rocks in I've put the pegs in on a really shallow angle and then just chucked some rocks on them shallow hull it's got everything I need look I've got my vitamins here look vitamins Water, can have a fire if I wanted to, but can't be, can't be jank to have a fire. I worn through my gator, look, bottom of my gator's just, it is no more. Luckily, in chesticle pouch, with lipstick, earplugs, here we are, spare. So... Right, we'll walk through one. Let's see if we can make the other one last to the end. That's where we woke up. We've, well, Andy and, I forget your names, lads, sorry. Um, we're camping there. Uh, got up, nice and early, and off. Off, off, off. Feet were hurting a little bit. <laughs> um, bit of an elevation around here, and then across the tops, and down into all this, which isn't very nice looking because it's plantation, a lot of it's just been cut down and yeah, they're waiting to regrow it and whatnot. So, not much to see, it was, it was alright. Um, but legs started to feel quite good coming down here. There was a lovely little river running across here, um, and then we hit, uh, hit a little bit of tarmac, got a wriggle on. These gardens, man. Atterdate Gardens. I had a little look over at wall and they looked amazing and I was tempted. It was a tenner to go in and have a little walk around and that but I thought I've got more pressing things to be doing. Although it did look, it was very tempted. I was going to just chuck my bag down and have a little look around these gardens because some beautiful flowers and, pl and plants in there from what I could see. So if you get a chance, that's quite good. Walked around here and then this bit was... Well, all today, mate, if I'm being honest, today's been a bit of a soul destroyer. All this was road. That exclamation mark means bad times. All road. 
road, 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 all the way. Oh, I stopped there actually at this little cafe and it was the shit. Really enjoyed it. Uh, just owned by an old, old couple who do all the cooking themselves and whatnot, and it was two thumbs up, mate. Really nice. I came into Strathcarran, tempted by pub, but carried on going past it. I came over at bridge, over this bridge here. Um, and the lady said, there was a lady at the pub and I got talk, um, in the beer garden bit and I was talking to her. Because there was these little weird pods here and I was just asking about them, but I digress. She said that people camp along here, so uh, I thought I'll have a look. And it wasn't tickling me, so I thought, Do you know what, I'll just push on. So I pushed on and I got to here, look. Another exclamation mark, two in fact, because it's doubly bad. <sighs> and then, instead of going up here, which in hindsight maybe, I don't know, well if I step back and you can see, look at all the different ways you can go, look. There's up here, along here, then up there, then that sp splits off into two, or up here and up here, and then split. There are multiple different ways, so I chose to go along this road, which was... It was hellish, if I'm being honest. It was, I didn't enjoy myself one bit. Um, yeah, didn't enjoy it. Kept going, and see, now you could have gone up there, but I didn't, I kept going. Could have gone up there, kept going. But then I thought, I don't want to get here and then double back on myself to go up here. So I looked for a, where is it? There should be a little, there it is. This track here, I got off the main road and just joined this track as you come up and it'll probably be this little bend here that I'm on and that's where I am now that's where I've camped so I pan out I've got to go some steep gear in the morning up to wherever anyway it doesn't matter about tomorrow it's tonight so I'm pitched up I'm pitched up here and I'm happy for it man Ugh. I had plenty of food in that little cafe today this morning whenever I ate it I had like two starters, a cake, and two cups of coffee. <laughs> so I'm not hungry, probably won't need to eat now. Um, I've got my water, I'm just gonna listen to my audio book and rest my feet, just keep my feet up, which is a joy. Maybe do a little bit of yoga. The joy of having as well this big tent, as opposed to the, the, the Lanshan one, is that you can actually stretch out in it and I've just been doing stretches as much as I can just to, to keep the old knees and calves and hips and just everything really just just flowing to give me a, a chance of getting to the finish line. Look at that mate. Everything's just blown up. It looks like look looks like someone's just blown up and go outdoors or whatever. <laughs> Morning glampers. Just taking air out of <laughs> Out of all gear, so that's it now. The dreaded you've got to get up. Fuck. I raised my pulse so that there was a lot more airflow because yesterday I had a bit of condensation, but today zero. And all the outside, so the outside and the inside of the tent is bone dry, bone dry in harmony. It's just about to turn seven o'clock, so we'll be up. And away before half seven, that's good. Tend to my feet as well, because me I've got a few hot spots on my, my toes, so I'm gonna put some plasters on them. It's Fox Trot Oscar. <laughs> Tick. <sighs> I got a load off me last night, but he must have just uh, slipped through the net, so we'll have him removed. Oh, mate, I can't even look down there because flexibility's gish. Some aching. Where is he? In fact, right, so turn him, turn him out. Little terror weasel. Can you see him on the end of there? The bane of my life. <laughs> oh, he's fallen off. Great. Oh, that's great. He's fallen onto the floor and I can't, I don't know. Where's he gone? Oh, well, he's on the floor, so he'll probably find his way back onto me nut bag or something at night, won't he? But, um, 
I keep just having to check up like <laughs> up the legs. I use my mirror to check around me gooch. <laughs> you have to, mate. You have to. You have to. You don't want feasting on you too long. That was he was on me for too long there, so it's gone a bit sore, a bit red. But when they get on you at first, they're so small, and I use the little key, but I had to bring out the I had to bring out the big boy for that lad. I'm gonna neck a couple of ibuprofen this morning, cause uh, my knee hurts a little bit, and uh, strap my feet up, and then we're going. There's that cuckoo following me about. It's gonna be a novelty one day just being able to wake up and not have to go for a huge <laughs> foot crushing hike. It's all uphill for this first bit as well. Good dude. Locked and loaded, we're gonna get some spruce. Come on. What are you doing down there, you? Lagging behind. The smaller ones are what you want. Anything that, when they get a bit bigger, they get a bit woody and uh, not very appetizing. So collect a few of these and put them in odd boob bag. When a hero comes along. Is it, any, is it patented? No. We have the strength to carry on. Something, something. Get on there. I've just come out of this forest here. It's pretty steep. Listen to this cuckoo. Can you hear it? There's loads of cuckoos. I stopped right on cue. Right on cue, right on cuckoo. There's a path. Right over in the distance, and that's the path. That's my path. This looks good enough to drink. Straight from the burn. Which is always nice because uh, it just saves the, the, I mean it doesn't take that long to filter it like but it just takes, it's just so much quicker doing it like this and there you go there's over a litre of water that'll keep me going look at all the bilberries still not fruiting yet but never mind, right let's get out of here I want to get my campsite next to somewhere where I can swim or just ease down the second half of the day and just soak myself in some water just some cold water just to ease my joints and just clean myself and freshen myself up so at the end of this <laughs> well i don't like it when i can see over the mountains and then still see the track it's sort of like oh it's best just to not see where how far you've got to go but if we get to kinlock you there's a campsite there, so I was thinking of maybe trying to get into the campsite and hopefully they'll have showers and, I'll, and I can get a shower and charge my um, charge my power bank because this battery that I'm on now is the last of my batteries and my power bank's dead, so hopefully I can get in there. If not, I might lose the film, but it is what it is. I've got my water and that's the main thing. Right, just a couple of things. One is that I've got a couple of new walks that I do now. One is this. I don't know if you can... You can't really see. Left leg goes out a little bit like that. Oh yeah, that's it. That's one of my new walks like that I'm doing. Quite enjoying that one. Uh, another one that I'm doing just to mix it up a little bit is I go like that onto... I feel quite like a... A dinosaur or a bird. I go onto the sort of onto the balls of my feet, and Ed goes like that, sort of propels me along. So I'm just propelled by my neck. Well, that's quite a good one as well. I enjoy. Anyway, 
Yeah, secondly, I was just going to say that for anyone who's watching this, if I ever get found, um, it, you might be a policeman or an ambulance worker or just a, I don't know, it could be a hiker, a hiker out tomorrow, but it's probably going to be one of my loved ones or someone like that. But if when you do find me and I've passed away, which I probably never will do, but can you just whip out your phone and just do a quick medic on me, please? Um, and then post it on Instagram. And I'll, uh, well, I won't, re <laughs> I won't repost it, but it'll be, it'll be much appreciated from the afterlife. Thank you very much. Hey, I can see a couple of colours. Uh, a col Maybe a hiker over yonder. I quite like not seeing humans to be like it's uh it's really refreshing just to be out on your own practicing your walks and that practicing your different walks. Oh they're coming this way. <laughs> Cooey hey. Right, see you later because they are coming this way and I'm gonna look like a lunatic. Temperature has dropped dramatically and uh, the clouds are coming in. Oh, I might even need to put me uh, my jacket on. Well, that's just a weather report. That's boring. What the main thing is, what I've brought you here is, the, look at this. We're just sort of in the middle of nowhere. And there's just two beautiful white... What are they? Cows? Just two beautiful white cows, look. All white cows. I've never seen anything quite like it. You alright, guys? Oh, mate. You're majestic. Should we get a photo of you? Because I can't. Right, I'll turn this off. Anyway, say hello to these lads. Just chewing down by the river. Chilly now. Right, that path that I pointed at in the in the distance, I've gone up there. That was a steep climb, and I'm just sort of going across a plateau a bit. And hopefully, at the end of here, there'll be a little bit of downhill uh, and some nice views. Dark clouds are coming in. I've got the bin bag on, so ready for anything. Medic! Oh, pushing through all these. When you're coming through like head height stuff, you're thinking, well, I'm thinking, I'm getting ticks galore here. And I'd done so well, I was just thinking to myself, this section was probably. It was going well, it was dry. My feet had stayed dry for the longest on any of the days so far. And now, we're back. We're back on with trench foot. Right there. Whew. Can you hear the cuckoo? Constant cuckoo. Just gravity, look at it, beautiful. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yeah. He's banged a little post in there. I need to stop excess swingage. Look at that. That's all you need. There is no latches. There is no locks. But it still makes it into the, the inner workings of my heart. Beautiful stuff. Right touch. Made it. Made it into town. I say town, it's more of a hamlet. But there's a cafe up here, hopefully they'll uh, still be serving so I'll get some grub and there's a garage so I can resupply on my snacks and whatnot. And then, and then think about what to do. I'm in here, we're in the caravan. It's more of a caravan park than a, than a tent place, but We've got a couple of pictures. I've asked if you, <laughs> I've asked if anyone's left any uh, like shampoo or hair gel or, <laughs> or shower gel. Without buying any, I'll just 
I'll just use some scraggly bits, but look, I'm on here, look. Tent area, mate. With this lad here, or whoever that is. That's my pitch, look. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Some raspberries there, not in. Not in. Anyway, that's my neighbour. And it's got a shower with hot running water, so I'm gonna get a shower and I'm gonna wash my socks and underpants and just ah oh, the simple pleasures of life that become more than just simple pleasures. <laughs> right, let's get this tent set up now. Here I am. Look. Next carbon hair and body wash with vitamin E. Vitamin E. Get it on you, drop a couple of vitamin E's for, for... Right, I'm having it, I'm having that. I'm gonna get a full on shower and I'm so excited about it. Showered, hot shower, clean clothes, washed both pairs of my socks just with me, that shampoo. And the weather, let's flatten them down. Ironically, this is the worst weather I've had on a campsite. Keep getting gusts of wind and the uh, the ground isn't particularly good to hold the pegs i've had to go in on a really shallow angle with them hopefully it holds <sighs> there's a there's a shop slash garage down there so i'm just going to get loads of shit food and just get my air bed out and just chill out listen to my podcasts and eat some shit food and i'm excited about it down to have socks still lovely and dry and then the Hobie's Nimble Wholemeal, low in sugar. These are me ultra light and they'll go on there and then me my boots can go, my shoes can go over the top of them and I'm good to watch at shop looking like a bit of a weirdo. With dry feet though. So the wind has been, we've had 50 mile an hour winds and rain. In the campsite is where I've had the worst weather. Hey, so I've dropped the hiking poles in situ and just put it all to the ground so that the wind just rolls over it instead of catching underneath it. Let's have a little look at the map. Map Morgan. On this little corner, that's where I woke up. Hiked through this woodland to get to this path this is pretty steep man out of here pretty steep and then it just hit a track like a um like a four by four track which was just easy going really some half decent views filled my water up here down here Oh, along here, that's where I saw my two white horses. Uh, instead of going, instead of just doing this like L shape here, I'll just cut straight across. Straight across there, up this. This was all pretty steep. Yeah, carried on going up out of the woodlands over the tops. Nice views all along here. The weather did drop, it was pretty cold, but <laughs> feather. Um, but yeah, nice views all along here. Now, I didn't, I did done goofed here. Um, I cut into these woods and I've even, I even wrote it on this map, but I didn't have this map on me. I was using my GPS. I wrote it on this map pr uh, prior to, prior to this section um, because of the blogs and everything that I've seen and it, what it says in the guidebook uh, was to cut down to this road and it's a real simple walk in. I goofed, I didn't do that. I sort of went halfway down here and then I was like, ah, oh, road's there, it looks pretty busy, I'll go. And I followed this thing here. Mistake really, because all this, there was uh, there was not much path at all, it was boggy, it was overgrown. And it took me ages, man. So, he kind of stuppered me, killed me morale a little bit. And then I thought, because I was gnashed after this bit, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get my tent into here and get a shower and that. Uh, went up website, fully booked, but I give him a ring and I got in. Managed to get a shower 
and I'm just going to rest my trotters. I don't know if that's worthy of, the, of an episode and I don't know how I'm going to structure these videos, but if that is the end, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you want to click the bell notification next to the subscribe button, you'll get notified next time I upload. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.